dude, you saw me, Bill. You've seen me many times before 11 a.m. And it's not it's not fun for me before 11 a.m. Dude, 11.30 is the sweet spot for Paul Versey. <laughs> you imagine a guy waking me up screaming that I got to run 10 miles? <laughs> I'm like, no, dude, come on, man. I'm fucking exhausted. Dude, Versey is up for like 13 hours, and he's asleep for 11. I would love to see the stats on your life. What percentage of your life you've been asleep? Dude, and you know something? My mother's girlfriends, when I was a baby, said to my mother, like, is he okay? She goes, I don't know what it is. She goes, we, they took me to doc doctors like he's fine. Uh, they put me down for a nap, like, after we would eat, and then I would just stay down and then, like, go again. And my mom was like, this kid his whole life just loves to sleep. My so, son's like that. Yeah. My son goes down at seven. It does not move until seven now. It's awesome. And he takes That's, like a nap from 12 to almost three. He gets it. He's chilling. He's in a fucking onesie. No, he does. He does he get it. He's, I'm not going to lie to you. Kid, kid's got a vibe. Yeah. Kid, kid's kid got a vibe. Life. Ladies are, uh, are going to be liking him. I just love the thing where he went like this and ran. There's nothing funnier than when a baby gets gets it. <laughs> like when a baby gets that, I don't want any part of that. Yeah, he loves the that... phone. Can I have the phone back? And he just looks, he's like, and then you go to reach for it. And he just kind of, he just like runs away. <laughs> that's my, I love what, yeah. I love when a little kid knows what they want and that's it. That's fucking it. Uh, it's like when a, when a Jack Russell plays, if you ever played a uh, fetch with a Jack Russell, they won't stop. They won't, they will not stop. My brother was like uh, dog sitting. And he goes, yeah, man, everything's going good. They called to check on the dog. Yeah, everything's going good. Uh, yeah, man, I just been throwing this ball for like <laughs> for like four hours, and they just burst it out left. They go, yeah, you have to stop because he won't stop. <laughs> it won't stop. They just don't get tired. They just don't. There are certain breeds of dog that just want to play. Uh, my buddy's got a retriever, and all she wants to do, all she wants to do is Dance. sticks, balls, all that. Just sticks, ball, anything. Like – uh, they saw literally were doing Robert Palmer. <laughs> all she wants to do is, all she wants to do is dance. Bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to get another dog when my kids are like, you know, closer to 10. Yeah. We're getting another one. We, we already made Stacy already. We got to go ahead. We already talked about it. Lucas wants a golden retriever. Stacy wants a French bulldog. And you know me. I want to. What are you going to do with your other dog? No, he's chill, man. He's good. He's just good. He's just not good with males. He just, he just, he loves, he loves the females, but he, we can't get a male oh, in here. Oh, God. Dude, it's the you funniest. Have that going on in your house, huh? Oh, uh, dude. We, we dogs walk. Yeah, what are the kids doing? What mom and dad did. And that's why you're here. <laughs> are you going to name the puppies? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, she'll, she'll, they'll be fixed. They won't even, but uh, because he's got friends that are all female dogs, and since he's six, but the funniest thing is we always know with Lloyd what dog is coming because he'll just be like, rah, 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 rah. you're losing his shit, right? And then oh, you see a dog with a dick, you're like, yeah. Then the female walks by, he sits, watches, and I'm like, yeah, that's he just he can't handle um he can't handle males, just it's too much of a it's my house. I was here like this is my property. Another male comes in. I will tell you, a sweetheart, a sweetheart golden retriever is is really an amazing family dog. They just are, and they got a little laziness to them. I like that. I like a dog that likes to chill. I like a dog. They got that, like a laugh. I'm gonna go like that mainstream. Think like when somebody breaks into your house and like the golden retriever is like wagging its tail because it likes everybody. You know, yeah, I, think I, know I would go. I, I would go like Labrador Retriever. But here's the thing with a lab, dude, you're going to have to, that thing is going to want to fucking work and play a lot, a lot like need, And they want a yard to just book. And just, I yeah. want some fucking lazy ass dog just laying around. And I get like, I put on 40 with them. <laughs> I want a dog that wants to go out. It gives you an excuse, Paul, get out of the house. I want a fucking Dane. I want a great Dane. And they, they are amazing. I heard they're the sweetest. They're actually kind of lazy. But like they apparently they used to just the king and the king of England used to just have like two of them sitting out there because they were big. And like the, the, the thing wants no part of a fight and the thing wants no part of any like fast action. But they're just fucking, I love Great Danes. Oh, I like dude, bloodhounds. 
I like all the uh, all the pointers. I like all those hunting dogs. Terriers are hilarious. People are always like, don't get a Great Dane because it's going to live to like seven or eight. And I could mentally be ready. Like, I could. I know. What about your kids? Yeah, no, I mean that's that's another you know, but it's listen, a big got, hole to dig too in your backyard too. Um, Great Dane, I mean that's like burying like a fucking pony. <laughs> no, yeah, they they could get big. They could get fucking. Big. You got to rent like a backhoe. <laughs> Dude, a Great Dane is fucking. Andrew, can you pull up just big Great Dane and just show a picture of one because I know. Well, they think they're like puppies too. After they never understand how big they are, they try to sit in your lap. No, dude, I heard they're the sweetest. Like the sweet. Like I talked to some lady, she started crying about hers. That she's like, it's the sweetest thing I've ever. They're just like giants that are sweet. I fucking love them, dude. I'd get. A, I would like like a one like the blue or the gray one. But they're gorgeous dogs. When are you gonna pull the trigger? You said a couple years. Uh, yeah. You know, it's, I always wanted a bulldog. Speaking of a dog that doesn't do shit. I always wanted a bulldog. Yeah. Wow. Look at those things, man. Dude. Is that real? I like, I like <laughs> that one looking down at the little dog. That's the one right there. The one sitting in between those two old people. Dude, That's not real. Can you go back to that? That's fucking nuts, man. Yeah. <laughs> look at yeah, the they boss. put their ass on the couch and they just think that they're just chilling just like you. Dude, oh, my his... God. That thing is awesome. Dude, look at his paws. I want one of those so bad, dude. All right. Look up. Look up a bloodhound. Oh, bloodhounds. I don't love bloodhounds. Look. Wait, maybe. Look at that face. <laughs> what? You don't like a bloodhound? Come on, pick up that first one. It looks like he's running for Senate. Get that first picture. <laughs> yeah, that's... Look at that. All he needs is an American flag behind him. Dude, that thing looks... <laughs> I, dude, that thing looks like it's been through shit. I mean... <laughs> no, dude. I love those on, things. Row, row, row. It's running through your yard. Oh shit, dude! That's that's awesome. Where yeah, is he, I'll Blue? Go, go find the Blue. <laughs> bro, bro. <laughs> that's that's a cute dog, man. That's a puppy, man. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. my! Look at those puppies, dude. How great are dogs? They're like they're like men. They don't they know how to hang. They just want to love you. A dog just wants to absolutely love you. Well, I wouldn't say that's like guys, but I, I find them easier to get along with. Cats are fuck. I don't want to do 80s comedy here, but they're fucking annoying. Every once in a while, a, there's nothing better than a cool cat. But a cat is just like, you know, there's no loyalty with a cat. Dude, I was hugging my cat yesterday, arm under. He's had his thing and his arm hanging. But, uh, yeah, maybe not loyalty, but he loves me, dude. Touches my face, tries to get my attention. But I took care of the cat. All right. Yeah, but like... Know? turn around and you, you see it's like practicing killing you when they like stalk you. <laughs> no, he, no, I haven't had that. That's the thing that I don't like about cats. It's like, dude, I'm fucking, <laughs> I got you shelter on. I'm feeding you. I used to do a bit about that. That'd be like, if you know, you're paying all the rent and you're walking through your apartment, you turn around, you see a roommate. He's got a knife like this, like walking really slowly. And then he kind of brings it like, Hey, what's going on? How are you? <laughs> Annoying. I want to, I would love an exotic, uh, I want to, but I want if I have money, uh, I want a horse, a bull ter terrier. It's another one. Hey, what kind of horse would you get? I told you I would get a black horse and name it Severus. You know, what told me Severus Severus. Yeah. Sever after Severus Snape and Harry Potter. We talked about it on the podcast one time. I said oh, I want a cool name, Severus. I, I want a black horse named Severus, dude. Oh, right, yeah. Look up black horse. I know there's different kinds. Oh, dude, there's look the at kinds. Him. Ginger break arrest his soul bot where you go broke in a week. My neighbor down the road has Kevin Costner's horse from Yellowstone. Literally has it in her front yard, three, oh, three, three houses down. And she just walks him. His name's Charlie. And they just walk him like a dog. She's got a little stable in the backyard. Yeah, but look at that's that. what you, that one right there. That's the one you want. The black look, Clydesdale one looking one. Look at that thing, man. Yeah. 
Look you at put that. a saddle on? How could, you, how could you put a saddle on that fucking thing? I just oh. go out and I, I, would, I would brush its hair, make it feel good, give it some oats, and be like, all right, brother, you just go run around and do whatever the fuck it is you were supposed to do. I know I'm not supposed to be riding you. Yeah, this thing looks like it's got look. This thing looks like a suede jacket, man. This thing looks like a fucking like a dude. That horse with a new pair of Jordans and a Giants pullover walking up your fucking hill. Oh, dude, I I would sit on that thing with Jordans that matched them. I would have. Jordan oh, you would sit on that thing and you'd be lighting a stick. Dude, I would with brand new fucking the <laughs> cements. You'd have the Jordan three cement. Oh, he even knows the ones. Dude, I would I would rock the I would have these on. I, listen, I, I would have these on. You don't think that's a little redundant? This with the, the white, and then he, it matches his little head. Oh yeah. I don't know, Paul. I would I would actually go like red. I think the red would pop with that black background. You know, you could even go all yellow, dude, with the Knicks saddle, right? You got the Knicks fucking logo on it. Oh, man, that thing, yeah, dude. People just walk with those on my neighborhood, on the street. All right, my wife wants my wife wants a, one of those light brown horses. Oh, she wants a tan horse. Light brown horse. Look at this thing, Paul. Like a blondie. Oh, yeah. Look at that one of the giant fucking horse cock looking at you every morning, Holy emasculating you. There you, there's the one. That last one. That last one. Not that donkey looking one. That one. It didn't have all the fucking writing on its face. That's a beauty. I don't Dude, know about there's, that. One. Uh, These are some beat up looking horses. Those horses. Yeah, there yeah, you they, go. Go back. Go back to those two spoiled chicks right there. Oh my God. You're not going to put a style on there. I only <laughs> do it if there's like a ribbon involved. <laughs> <laughs> Those are Malibu horses right there. Fucking yeah. pain in the ass. Um, I would get a horse just... I would love to rescue a fucking horse and then never ride it. I'd be like, dude, those days are over. I'm All doing, right? I'm, I'm yeah. going to get the fucking horse network for you. Nice flat screen TV. Dude, I'm going to adopt... A, I'm, I'm not even joking about this. I'm adopting an elephant in Africa. Like, just donate. I'm oh adopting my God. a fucking... That's got to be the dumbest scam. Really, Paul? And then, what, are they going to name a star after you? Remember that? Remember when you could buy a star? That's the Paul Versey star. It what? says it right here on my certificate. I own an <laughs> elephant in Africa. What is wrong with you? Where's your Sicilian blood? No, man, they're going endangered. They're going endangered, and they're beautiful. I know. And the people, then they wait for people like you to show up. I love elephants, but I can't get anywhere near to see if they actually exist. No, they're going to send me a picture. Yeah. <laughs> and a stuffed animal. Uh, oh, Polly. I would love to. I would love to fucking get an elephant, man. They're, they're, um, oh, they're, if that's I could afford it, I would have an elephant too. Just be like, dude, stop standing on one foot. Those days are over. You're not yeah. in the circus anymore. Okay. Put down the beach ball. You're an elephant okay. again. I'm going to get you another five weeks. You're broad. You guys can go roll around in the mud. There's no alligators, no lions. This is it. You made it. Dude, if you stare at an elephant long enough, I, I have panic attacks. That's how fucking weird they are. Dude, That thing, uh, if I stare at an elephant for a long time, it freaks me out. It's one of the freakiest creatures on the planet Earth, dude. Well, it's because it's smarter than you, Paul, and it breaks you down and you see it. <laughs> what? Elephants are smarter than people. Is that true? Yeah, they just don't have hands. I think no, dude. I think they got a great memory. I don't know if they. I don't know if they're smarter. You know, I know they're good parents. So many animals, if they just had hands. <laughs> an elephant is one of those fucking animals. Uh, an elephant's creepy looking, man. By the way, is a rhinoceros the last dinosaur? No, a an alligator. An a what? An alligator. Dude, a rhinoceros looks like a dinosaur, dude. With that it, horn. To me, it looks like a pig with, with a, like and, armor on. Andrew, pull up a rhino, dude. A rhinoceros? It even has the name like a fucking dinosaur. How is that thing not a dinosaur? That is the weirdest looking thing. It's, and it has a horn. Uh-huh. Yeah, but goats have horns. 
Dude, look at that. Listen to me. If that's not a dinosaur, that's the closest to a dinosaur. Andrew, go to this one, right? The one with the horn. The one with the horn. Yeah. The hoof. I mean, look at that, man. That looks sad. I want to rub his head. Why that's is gonna that? going to be okay. Why is an alligator closer to a dinosaur than this fucking thing? Why do people fly from another part of the world to shoot that thing in the fucking head? Because the horn is worth money and people are greedy pieces there's, of shit. Yeah, there's, part, there's a part of the world they think if you eat part of the horn, it makes you dick harder. Closest animal to a dinosaur, and they're saying that it's a... They're saying that it's a... Oh, birds. Ah, oh, dude, that rhinoceros to me does not look... <laughs> You were so excited that they were going to back you up. Okay, they said, right now, closing the dinosaur. Birds. <laughs> <laughs>